So hello people. Uh, this time I'm going to show you how to use uh, models on your map and some tips about this modeling thing. First of all, you need Half-Life Model Viewer. I give a link on the description. Download it. So when you download it, just extract it somewhere. I will extract it on the desktop. And then you have to open it the HLMPX as you see there's a the window you can put load models and see how they look for example I will use this model school cross 2 and here it is if it doesn't open your model file means it won't work or it's somehow not correctly made so as you see we got one model here to put this model on your map you need to do this stuff open valve hammer editor open some project you got or anything and you have to put it for example it's uh, cross you click on the entity tool and you scroll up and find cycle sprite you put cycle sprite there or anywhere you like you can move it up or something then right click on it properties and you see here on the name you put anything you want or you don't pitch your or you don't use it render effects you don't have to use it render mode um, I think normal light is fine effects amount if you want it uh, more visible or not effects color animation and frame rates animation I think uh, you have to is the speed of your model if it's moving it's uh, 1 until 10 so if it's a uh, school with flames I'll just put 3 if you put some flames I mean and no frame rate 3 as well now to use this model I made on the desktop you don't just uh, browse it and put it there for example if you do this and you see now it's done but uh, it won't load you will need to do this right click properties then right here models slash name of your map for example test and the model name and the model extension MDL now it's done so when you compare your map you click X first when you compile your map let's do it file export map test model you see when you compile your map right now your map will be compiled with this model file so if you will be missing then you can't uh, run your map you have to put some model on this directory you just made for this model right like you make a new folder you name it test and you put this school cross 2 inside then you go copy it open your C strike C strike or half life whatever and you see here I got models folder and I paste it here to test see now the model can load fine you just do what I did and compile the map test model so when you compile the map you can load it and see your model fine it's not a difficult thing models are easy 
but it won't show up on BSP viewer of course because it doesn't uh, show models or entities you have to open them up with Counter Strike and it will show that's the way you put models on your map now how to change uh, models uh, size or whatever you open uh, the model with uh, this Half-Life viewer uh, model viewer and then you see here 1.0 scale mesh 1.0 scale bones this is the size so if you want to make it bigger you write 2.0 2.0 and click scale bone scale mesh now it's too much bigger you see right and you can change your opacity or anything you like with this program is an important thing too is a texture uh, sequence if you want it speed but I don't recommend change it from here but change it from properties which are shown here animation sequence or frame rate if he doesn't work from sequence well that's it it's not difficult really you just do what I did and you got the model uh, well that's it for example if you like to with a custom model it needs to be SMD file so with textures and you have to open it with milk shape for example this this is a um, custom model I made it I mean convert it with uh, milk shape 3D and you just uh, do this this way I'm going to show you you file click file import half-life SMD and you got the SMD file this is the first then you port the rest files the second if you want animation click yes and I use animation as well because it's nice and the uh, last one and you see here we got some the so custom model is from the game MU Online. Then you click export Half-Life SMD. You uh, write reference, click save, and choose reference and click save again. Then file export and sequence and click sequence okay now you go to tools half-life com uh, um, generate generate QS file for example merchant animal you cl click tools half-life compile QS file and compile this QS file you made click OK it's done you see you got the file you see it's moving fast last I say it's sequence from here and if it's still fast then you have to change the sequence the, the fast speed from a uh, valve hammer data from the properties thank you very much for watching again I hope you understand if you have any questions just drop a comment again and that's it uh, you got the, the files for half-life view model viewer on description and see you again thank you very much